Hello everyone. So, um, so the last step we were, we went to do was we were going to, um, surge our ends. I moved to another room because this room, um, it has more light and I get to show off how beautiful the edges look on our valances. And again, um, whenever I learn new tricks, I will learn to share them with you guys because, um, this is my first demonstration of video, YouTube video. So with Esalen that I've done, so I'm going to learn just like you guys are learning. And that's what sewing is about. We learn things together. So this, this is funny in a way, um, because when I went, when I decided what technique I would use, I went to my machine and I was going to take out all the pins. Remember we pinned all four of our valances together and I thought, you know what, let me just see, since you know, you guys know one of my favorite techniques is to, um, surge my ends first. So I went to my machine and I realized I could actually surge all of them together without taking them apart, which made life a lot easier for me. So I actually surged my ends, leaving all my pins in at the top. So if you could do this, I would suggest you do it because the, the more we keep our balances together, the easier it is to see just where we are with the, um, how can I say the evenness of our, uh, ends. Okay. So I went and I surged all four of my valances at the ends. These are the, the surged ends. Okay. And of course I didn't, um, clean it, clean it up yet, but I just wanted to say to you guys, if you use the surge technique, actually, even if you use your sewing machine and do the straight stitch, all you have to do is just fold this part under a, a say just I don't even know was that a quarter of an inch maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch you should still be able to keep the top together but you'll have to support the the fabric as you sew meaning hold your fabric up while you sew all the way across so I just wanted to show you guys um what your balance is the ends remember how uneven they were when we first started and then we cut them this is how your ends should look so of course the next step that um I'm going to do is I'm going to do that I said about a half inch I'm going to do the half inch up about a half inch on each one of my valances. Remember again, whatever you do for one, you do for all of them. So in order to do this though, I'm going to iron them up first because that will make life easier. It will make it as a guide for me to make my straight stitch. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to, I'm sorry, my ironing board. And I'm going to take each one of these valances and I am going to iron it up just like this about a half inch, quarter inch, so that they're all even. But whatever you do for one, do it for them all. So um, I hope this really helps you to see what they should look like and how neat your edges should look. Because remember, if this is the top, when we hang it from the window, we want everything to hang nice and straight, okay? So um, please take the time to visit my website, Buster Wraps, B-U-S-T-A-W-R-A-P-P-S, BusterWraps.com. I'll be back after I finish the hem, the ironing and the hem. Bye-bye, guys.